In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium sulfide plus cobalt II chloride. The first thing we need to do when we balance this net ionic equation is to balance the molecular equation. So we have our molecular equation here. I can see that we have two chlorines here and just one here. You can also see that I have these two ammonium ions and only one ammonium ion here. So to balance this equation, it looks like all I have to do is put a two here in front of the ammonium chloride. So once we've balanced the molecular equation, we can write the states for each substance. Ammonium compounds are very soluble, so that's going to be aqueous. It's going to dissolve, split apart into its ions. Same for compounds with chlorine, the chloride here. That's going to be soluble as well. Ammonium chloride, soluble. And then we have this copper sulfide. Sulfides in general, they're soluble. Ammonium compounds are so soluble that ammonium sulfide is soluble. But in general, sulfides are insoluble. And in this case, cobalt 2 sulfide, it is insoluble. We're going to call it a solid. It's going to be a precipitate. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube after these two substances react. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes in ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. So ammonium ion, the whole thing is one plus. Sulfur, that's two minus. So we have two ammonium ions. And I won't write the states each time. We have our sulfide ion, S2 minus, and then cobalt, that's a transition metal. We don't really know its charge. We have to look at what it's bonded to. The chloride ion is one minus, and we have two of them here. So this has to be two plus. So we have the cobalt two ion, and then we have two chloride ions. And those are the reactants in the net ionic equation for ammonium sulfide plus cobalt two chloride. For the products, we said the ammonium ion is 1 plus, the chloride 1 minus. Two ammonium ions, just like in the reactants. And then we also have, the two goes to everything, so two chloride ions as well. For net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart, so we're just going to write cobalt 2 sulfide. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides, so we have our reactants and our products. We have two ammonium ions in the reactants and two in the products. We can get rid of those. We have two chloride ions, and then here again in the products, two chloride ions. Get rid of those. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for ammonium sulfide plus cobalt two chloride. I'll clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for NH42S plus COCl2. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a 2 minus and a 2 plus. That gives us a net charge of 0. Over here, we have a neutral compound, net charge of 0. And if you count the atoms, they're balanced as well. Usually, we'll see the positive written first. It doesn't really matter. Maybe it looks a little nicer. But that's it. This is the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium sulfide plus cobalt 2 chloride. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.